This is a bit of biology with Mr. Rock, and today we are going to be talking about DNA replication. First thing we're going to start off with is the definition. DNA replication is the process by which a double-stranded DNA molecule is copied to produce two identical DNA molecules. So what we're essentially doing here is doubling the DNA. So DNA replication is a process of replicating the DNA um, so that we can go into mitosis. So what you have here in this picture, this is one DNA molecule. This is going to be the process of replication, and at the end, we get two DNA molecules that are the exact same as each other. So I want to start off with the questions, the what, the when, the where, and the why. So the question of what is DNA replication? DNA replication is a process by which DNA copies itself. When does DNA replication happen? You may have actually seen this before, and it happens before cell division, uh, specifically during the S phase of the cell cycle. And the S phase takes place during inter interphase. Where does this take place? The DNA, most of its life, is sitting in a nucleus, so the DNA is replicated in the nucleus. And why do we need to do DNA replication? It is so that each new cell can have the same amount of DNA after mitosis is finished. So 46 chromosomes, we need to double that in order for the cells to divide so that each new cell can have the right amount of DNA. We're going to start with a bigger term here, and it's called semi-conservative replication. With semi-conservative replication, this is a term that describes when one DNA molecule is used to make two DNA molecules. So, so far that's been the definition of replication, but what's new about this definition is that with the new DNA molecules that are going to be at the end, there's going to be one strand that is new, and there is going to be one strand that is old, or the parent DNA. So if we bring our attention up to here, number one, I tried to highlight it a little more on here, so you might not be able to see it on your green note sheet because it's not printed in color, but the blue is the original DNA strand, or the parent strands. Sometimes we call them parent strands because they came first. Then when we move on to DNA replication, one thing you're going to see is you're going to see one blue strand, but then you're also going to see one gold strand. DNA is made up of two strands. So when we look at DNA replication, we see that the new DNA that is made has one original strand or one parent strand, and then the gold we are going to call the new or daughter strand. So DNA replication results in one original and one new strand to form the double helix. You might want to make a point of this on your green sheet. I have it started up here. But maybe just make a point of those words so that when you look back on this picture, you know what we're talking about. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to explain in this video is the how and how does DNA replication happen. A couple things that I want to say. First, this whole entire process is going to be done with enzymes. Enzymes almost always end in ACE. So when you see a word that ends in A-S-E, that means it's an enzyme. So a lot of these steps of DNA replication are just going to be enzymes. Second thing is uh, we are going to break this down into four steps. But that brings me to my next point of saying this is going to be an oversimplified version of DNA replication. So please be aware that if you go onto an IB class or a college class, this is not going to be the full picture. This is just an intro. So please be aware of that, that this is simplified and it's not the full picture, but it's going to get us started. So like I said, I'm going to break this down into four steps. And each step is an enzyme. So we're going to start with step one, and we call that enzyme helicase. If you remember from the previous video on DNA structure, you would know that nitrogen bases are held together by hydrogen bonds. 
So step one is we need to separate the DNA so that we're able to replicate it. So we're going to separate the nitrogen bases in the same way that you separate a zipper from like one side of the coat to the other. So we unzip the DNA with helicase and that is going to expose the DNA so that we can add new nucleotides. Once the DNA is exposed, we are going to, um, next up is going to be RNA primase, and that is an enzyme that initiates or begins the process of replication. So RNA primase puts a primer down, and it pretty much says, this is where we're going to start. This is where replication begins. It puts like a green stop, you know, a green traffic light and says, start now. So RNA primase indicates where replication is going to begin. Step three is DNA polymerase. This is an enzyme that is going to add new nucleotides to the new strand by pairing A with T and G with C and C with G and T with A. So it's going to move down the old strand and put new nucleotides on the existing strand. Finally, we're going to have ligase at the end. This is going to be an enzyme that actually stitches the DNA all together, so it's one nice, finished, beautiful double helix. So we're going to move on to the picture here, and the picture might be a little confusing. I'm going to walk us through step by step. So before we get going on the picture, two things I need you to know would be the black lines are going to represent the parent strand. So right here... If you're watching this video right now, that should look familiar to you because that is a double helix. We have letters going in the middle, A, T, C, G, A pairs with T, C pairs with G. So that should be familiar and that is the parent strands. Secondly, we have our origin of replication here. So I'm going to talk about that more with the next step. So the first step in DNA replication is helicase. So if you don't see that on here, helicase is up here. One thing that I don't like about this picture is it's actually showing you the end of the process of DNA replication. What I mean by that is helicase actually would have started right here. So it begins to unzip the DNA, and it's going to move down the double strand to separate it. So where helicase begins... That is the origin of replication. And another word for origin is the beginning. So the origin of replication is where helicase started, and helicase is going to move all the way down the DNA. The next step, oh, skipped ahead. There we go. Next step is going to be the RNA primase. I have that shown here with the red dot and a red dot over here. So RNA primase puts down a primer to begin the process of replication. And then this is kind of the tricky one. And I would star this. It's probably, I would argue, one of the most important enzymes. It is DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase is going to move down the, the DNA, and it is going to add new bases. So what I mean by that is... It is adding new bases all along, so when it's moving this way, it's going to add green to red. So A to T, it's going to add blue to black, which is G to C. A couple things about DNA polymerase that you need to know is that it moves in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. So these little things right there, that we call those primes, and you don't need to worry about doing any math. What you do need to know is that the DNA is moving, like 5 prime is the beginning of DNA, and 3 prime is the end of DNA. So what I mean by this is RNA, uh, sorry, DNA polymerase actually moves in two separate directions. So the top one is going to be moving to the right, and the bottom one is going to be moving to the left. So it only moves in a 5 prime to 3 prime direction. And like I said, and this is an important point right here, it is creating new strands or new slash daughter strands of DNA. Finally, ligase is going to stitch the DNA together. Once the new strand is joined together with the parent strand, it's going to stitch it together. 
That is the enzyme ligase. It is not shown on this picture just to keep things from being too confusing. This has been a bit of biology with Mr. Rock. I'm signing off.